Now, congratulations to the winners of the Ethnic Business Awards that were held in Sydney on Friday night. This ceremony acknowledges successful migrant and Indigenous entrepreneurs. And it started 34 years ago when a Lebanese-born businessman, Joseph Asif, created the concept. Every year it received support from some heavy hitters. The Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, was there with his wife, Jenny. The opposition leader, Anthony Albanese, attended as well. But it was the nominees and the winners who were the stars of the show. And there are so many inspiring stories. Ben Shaber was a finalist in the Indigenous business category. At the age of 17, the Alice Springs local went to jail for theft. But during that time in prison, he turned his life around. Because he got a bunch of trade qualifications under his belt. And then in his 30s, he started his own welding and engineering business called Swell. Since starting up, he secured huge contracts from some of Australia's biggest brands. There was also Dr. Ved Barani, who took out the Small Business Award. When he came to Australia from India, it was not smooth sailing. He told the story on Friday night about having only $5 left in his pocket, and he had a choice of filling up his car with petrol or buying dinner. He put petrol in the car. He went hungry that night. He now runs a high-tech dental business based out of Melbourne. And he donated the $10,000 winner's check to seek volunteers in Melbourne who feed the homeless. Then came Joseph Cromie, OAM, who won the Medium to Large Business Award. The young entrepreneur escaped from the former Czechoslovakia at 19 years of age. And back then it was against the law to run your own business in his home country. He saw no future and he escaped to Australia. His company, JAC Group, has developed some of Tasmania's biggest properties and hotels. And he also produces award-winning wine. Their Chardonnay has won some international awards. Sadly, Joe had a stroke in 2005 and that paralysed the right side of his body. He had to learn how to walk and talk again. And he's pushed on over the last 15 years. At the age of 90, Joseph still goes into the office five days a week and works on weekends. Congratulations to all of the finalists and the winners. You're listening to Sydney's Best Breakfast. Ben Fordham Live. And now, the Business Report. Don't you love that, Switz? 90 years of age. He goes into the office five days a week and then he's spotted in there on weekends as well. You often see that, don't you, with people who come to Australia from other parts of the world. Yep, they love it. They're focused on it and that's why they succeed. It's a great story, Ben. Some of those ones that you ran through, very inspirational, without a doubt. Now, this is...